special edition. We're at Goodwill. Can't see it, but we're at Goodwill. So we got our record. This is more of an experiment. I have no idea how this is gonna work, but uh, been wanting to try this for a while. But we got a record, Silent Night, probably can sort of see that. So I got this crappy record just because, you know, I'd feel bad cutting up a, uh, you know, a good record. So uh, you can get any record you have. If you have one, you don't need to go to Goodwill. But if you don't have one, you can go to Goodwill and get one for a dollar. So we're back in the lab. And like I said, this episode is more or less an experiment. Uh, the plan is to take this record and to turn it into an O-ring. So how I'm going to cut this thing out is still a question to me. So uh, I'll think about it and I'll get back to you. So as many of you may or may not know, records are 12 inches. So my snare is 13 inches, but my tom is 12 inches. So we can test it out on that. But also I have that snare that I cut down from a tom. That's 12 inches. So I guess we'll use that snare for this episode. So as it turns out, this screw is stripped, which holds this uh, the butt plate in place. So thankfully due to my compulsive hoarding, I found this, which has the same thread pitch, so we'll use this. It's kind of ghetto, but it'll work. So it's time to cut this thing. So first, I marked out a line where I'm going to cut it. And now to cut it, I'm going to use a jigsaw. I'm going to use a metal cutting blade because it has more teeth than a wood cutting blade. And hopefully that'll work. have it. So I also cut this o-ring out from the record sleeve, so let's see how this sounds. So I also cut this disc out from the other half of the sleeve, so let's see how this sounds.
straight disco. Also, just for shiggles, this is the shrink wrap from the record, so let's see how this sounds. So, is a vinyl O-ring worth it? Survey says... Nah. Now this thing definitely works as a muffling device, but you know, it's just not worth it. You can definitely achieve the same sound as this a whole lot easier. And now, one other thing about this is that it's pretty fragile. You basically, you hit it once with a stick and it cracks. So, would I make one of these again? Probably not. Like I said, this was just a fun experiment that I've wanted to try for a while, and now of course it works, but like I said, it's just not worth it. So this concludes this episode of the Dollar Tree Drummer. If you like what you see, I suggest you check out the other episodes, and if this is your first time here, I really hope you subscribe. But that's it for this one, I will see you in the next episode.